Where are you, Charlie Iona? Come on down. Big calm applause, please. So, guys, how are you enjoying the show so far? It's great. It's, it's great, yeah? I see reality hasn't changed for you. You're, you're still very tall, aren't you, Charlie? And Iona, you're still a bit shorter, aren't you? Yes. Would you like to be taller than Charlie? Yes. Well, you know, with the RI Christmas show, we can actually make that happen. So please follow Kate and follow her out of the room for a moment. OK, we'll be seeing them very shortly. So throughout the lecture tonight, we've been watching how reality creates its own sense of, of, of how reality is created by the brain. And it uses past experiences to make sense of the world. But things are not always as they seem. So sometimes we can fool the breath. Oh, hello, guys. There we go. Can you give a wave, Charlie? So Charlie, that room seems a bit small for you, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, maybe you should try going to the opposite corner. And I don't know, why don't you switch places? OK. OK. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did that happen? Shall we? OK, switch places again. Can you hold hands? Can you reach each other? Can you reach out and hold hands? There we go. Look, it's a giant and a smaller person. <laughs> now, OK, you can have a bit of fun in there, because I'm going to explain what's going on in here. And to do that, I need a model. Because what you can't see is that's not obviously a normal room. In fact, the room has this sort of shape. OK? It's just the way that we set up the camera angle. And what we're doing is we're fooling and tricking your brain into thinking that is, in fact, a square room. And I can illustrate this with this next example over here. Do these lines look equally long to you? Yes. They th the green lines? Who says they look the same? Well, that's a very strange brain you have. For the rest of you, I hope, who thinks they look longer? That's great, because, of course, it's an illusion. This is the Ponzo illusion, because, in fact, the lines are exactly the same length. And I'm going to make that big again. So what's going on here is your brain has been fooled by what are called perspective cues. It's almost like it's on a railway track. And because railway tracks, as they recede off into the distance, they converge. The lines start to become slanted like that. And because this seems to be further away, and it's stretching over the edge here, you assume that this must be much larger than this block, which is sitting inside the tracks. So once again, even though your brain tells you that they look different, in fact, they're exactly the same length. So this is what's going on in the Ames room. The Ames room uses these perspective cues of slanted lines to fool your brain into thinking that the room is actually the same distance, where in fact, it's actually longer. I suppose the best way to show you how that's going to work is if I go out there and you can see what I'm like and what the room's really like. Okay. So here we are at the Ames room. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Uh, now, have you have a look around, you can see that the room isn't, in fact, straight or normal. It's got all these slanted lines. And the way that the, the team have built it, because when you shoot it from one angle, it looks as if the perspective is correct. But in fact, it's entirely wrong. So why don't you swap over again? In fact, I think I'll join you. So you can watch me going into the room. And look how I transform in size. Here I come. So I'm big. And now, Iona, you're bigger than both of us. So that's part of the magic of the Royal Institution. Why don't you come back in and give a big round of applause for everyone.